Boy! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Where did you steal that from, Gutian? Who did you murder to claim such a pretty thing? I'm no thief. Then you're unique among your kind. Either that, or a liar. No way your people made that. You can't even wash your own asses, much less use a chisel. That belongs to me! In this house you have no rights. All favor is owed to the sons of Naram Sin. The Gutian army. Perhaps you're lucky after all. You get to hear your people scream as they fall before us. I'll kill you, Arcadian! Oh. You will learn who we are. Your king tried to wipe us out. But we still stand! We still stand! You Gutians are a stain on this world. A worthless pack of feral dogs. Too stupid to survive another day. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you are right. I am a thief. The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled.
gods give me strength. been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. You are wrong. The king sacked the temple at the pool. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? I have no choice. Guardian! Wait! Help me with this. Follow me. There is a way out through the storm. Doom? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Wasting time. We must keep moving. The sack of Nippur. Why did your king raid the temple? 
same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Over here. You first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gotiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. What was that? Over here! It's on us! I've got it! Don't forgive us! There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword!
means our story has yet more secrets to reveal. Your part in this play is far from over. And so, are you ready to go once more unto the breach? As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life, and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I mean, Rachel, are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Your courage, your willingness to face danger for your country and for each other made this day possible. Because of you, our nation is more secure. Because of you, the tyrant has fallen and Iraq is free.
This is King. Eric. You're looking good, Rachel. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What oh, the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. 
I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. I mean, they're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind, when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. You got in that box of tricks anyway. The fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Whoa, careful with that. You're packing phosphorus? Isn't that... Yeah, it's restricted. We're cool as long as we use it for smoke. how these things work? Hmm. Standard 40 millimeter phosphor shell. We use it for target marking, screening, or at a push, clearing rooms. Looks small, but spits out a load of smoke and it burns like hell. Appreciate the lesson, Lieutenant. Let's check this gear again. Packing an HG, flash bang, Billy Pete. Well, I knew there was a reason you were tagging along. What does that mean? Well, someone's gonna have to tie all the pretty little knots and shit. You struggle with that, don't you? Maybe I'll get you some Velcro boots so you don't have to worry about your shoelaces. Oh. Why don't you go on then? Why don't you teach me, huh? While you're down there. What? You want me to wipe your ass for you as well?
am, Rachel. I look just as pissed as some of these guys. What's up? I've had a shit morning. Yeah, he's, he's ruffled a few feathers, huh? How come you never told me you had a husband? We met back at the academy. And you know the type. Joined at the hip, eyes only for each other. Hand in hand, ready to take on the world. Yeah, that does sound pretty pathetic. After his accident, Eric spent every second working on Kalis. For me, Langley came calling. And life, as it does, had different paths for us. Until now, huh? Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Zane, and a gate. Zane? Quays, are we?
Araf. لسه ما كبرش من الخرافات دي 